JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, codingface.com. Listen, I'm trying to get as much content as I can for you guys. You know, on the go, wherever I'm at, if I have an extra little time, I'm going to do a little video for you guys. You know what I mean? But yeah, so somebody left me a comment like, hey, man, like it's so hard for me because I can't find no friends. I can't find, you know, people that can relate to me who actually like code or likes technology programming whatever it is right and i could relate to that because when i was starting to learn how to code like none of my friends was into that you know it's like nobody that i knew was into this thing so or, or even like you know if i talk to anybody they'll look at me like oh yeah like like you know okay change the subject we don't we don't really care about that like that's the reality of things because if you're not into code for for you it's probably boring you know what i mean so i understand people i understand they're not into it but you know for me it was hard because i was like damn man like i want to talk to somebody that you know that knows about this or i could help to try to get to learn or he helps me whatever the case is right and i realized that most of the times you're not going to find that in your life at all because nobody's really that I know of. Like, you know, most regular people are, is not into code. They're not into technology like that. They use it as a user, but they're not there thinking, hey, how do you make this? How How is it that they make this, you know, user interface? How is it that this thing gets to save my, you know, my email, my password somewhere in, in the cloud? Like, they don't care about none of that shit. Like, they're not thinking about that, right? So for us, you know, guys who are trying to learn, guys and girls who are trying to learn code and, you know, the best way to really, you know, find friends or people who, who can relate to whatever you're you're working on is either, you know, go to places like, you know, the Team Treehouse has a good forum, which is pretty helpful. You have uh, stackoverflow.com which, you know, for answering questions is pretty helpful. Now, if you wanted to, you know, ask regular questions about code or programming or what language you should pick, whatever it is, you should go to Quora.com. Uh, I go there all the time. Like, I ask questions all the time. If you don't want it to show up your name or anything, you could be anonymous. So, like, let's say if you feel the question is really dumb, but you want to ask, you don't want to um, ask the question, and you're like, man, I don't want to put my name, because if people see this, they're going to think I'm dumb. It's fine. Put it anonymously. I do it all the time. I always ask stupid questions in there. But it's cool, because then I get to meet people who are also doing code, or they learning how to program, whatever. And, you know, I end up, you know, being pretty cool, pretty fr uh, friendly with them. You know, sometimes we change uh, um, Gmails and then we just do Google Hangouts. And we just, you know, we talk about things about code or what what languages are high, what was, you know, what's hot out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Also, too, you could go to meetups, right? So meetup.com, you search whatever it exactly is that you're interested on. So, like, let's say you're interested in JavaScript. There's a JavaScript meetup. You let's say you're interested in Meteor. There's a Meteor meetup. You know, here in New York, I'm lucky because there's a meetup for everything. There's eight million people just in New York City. So out of those eight million people, there's always somebody doing a meetup somewhere in a cool office. Um, I've gone to meetups in the Google office. I've gone to meet up at uh, Link not LinkedIn. Was was the name of that other place? It's uh, Tumblr. Uh, I went to what else? I went to a meetup in Digital Ocean. Um, I, I think the the Meteor meetup was at Digital Ocean. I think. I know I went to Digital Ocean, but I can't remember for what meetup. But uh, yeah, so it's like not only do you get to meet new people, but you get to also to communicate with, you know, and. What is it like you know future employers or potential employers like take advantage of meetup.com man because that's the best place to find people that are just like you you know what i mean so yeah man you know check out meetup.com so yeah so stack overflow quora meetup.com uh the team treehouse um 
Team Treehouse uh, dot com forum, and then of course CodingFace dot com. Once it's completed, that's the re- main. That's the main reason why I'm creating that website because I know when you first starting, you don't even know what projects you should do. You don't even know how to collaborate with other people. You don't even know how to do open source. Like you don't know how to do Git. You know and pretty much collaborate with other other developers out there so that's why i'm creating coding phase you know and also it's gonna have a forum it's also gonna have uh, a chat room so it's gonna have everything that somebody needs you know to get their their feet wet in the industry that's my my goal to it you know but let's see you know once i get the chance to finish it let's see how it comes out man you know hopefully everything comes out good and yeah <laughs> but yeah so this was a quick video for you guys uh your boy's back i'm out here codingface.com cheer